<laughs> no, this is a precious movie. Oh, that's very cool. We're ready for a precious movie. Yes. I showed this the last day of Mallorca one time, and that made the whole retreat. Everybody went off healed and happy after oh. this movie. So it's got the whole story of the separation, and then facing all the darkness and coming back. So, it's, it's a complete package. <laughs> and Brian Adams is a great singer, so he's got a A plus soundtrack. <laughs> so you'll go to bed just with these beautiful songs going through your mind tonight too, massaging your mind. So I'm not going to say much more. I think we could say much more. <laughs> that we watch the horse run. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. No thanks. Okay. <laughs> This is this is Sweetie's movie because it's going to be his whole life, and so. <laughs> I'll, I'll play the audio. All <laughs> right. Okay, let's <coughs> roll them. So it starts out with the the sun. Yay! Hey, for this. For the sun. Yay! Starts off with the sun. And there it's Utah. Yay! <laughs> it starts out nice, but it's, it's raw emotions. It takes you into raw emotions. For a cartoon, it's spectacular. It's interesting. You see, curiosity killed the cat, and there, it's just a little light in the distance. <laughs> something new. So, what's that? <coughs> yeah, all it takes is that little bit of a, a little nudge. Tiny that idea. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> a little light in the distance. Hmm. Hmm. What's that? Exploration is not. The Son of God's will, or the will of the Father. <laughs> it just leads to an unreal adventure with lots of seeming conflict. It's more than a lesson that spirit can't be broken, it's more that spirit doesn't venture out into false ideas, <laughs> <Right>. ever. <laughs> There's no place like home. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's no venturing, really? <laughs> no need to venture out. <laughs> I like to rest now. <laughs> From mind, yeah, it's like you come back to your mind, because you, you watch how the mind tries to drift into the future, or mm -hmm. drift into the past, and it's like, that's the pasture land of the ego. The pasture. <laughs> pasture land, pasture <laughs> homeland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it brought up all the anger and all the rebelliousness and all the leader follower stuff and yeah, then I start to s slowly kind of lean towards collaboration, a little bit of collaboration and equality. Get okay, a little scent, scent of collaboration and equality with him and the the, the Indian. Ancient hatred becoming present day love when they jumped the chasm and the current could have shot him. Mm -hmm. oh. There was more of the finally the respect. Mm -hmm. like if you're willing to take that leap, <laughs> then you can go. <laughs> 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 I 
And he said that in the horse at the beginning. He said, I felt like I could almost fly. And then he had his flying moment. Soaring. <laughs> I love the way that Indian will just jump up. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was, he was really open. But there were the progressive stages too. He went, yeah, to kind of a fort and then, and then the Indian community getting his apples. And so it just was those little steps along the way, you know. Like a loosening, a little bit of a loosening each time. It's like that Carly song, Simon song, if you're willing to play the game, it will be coming around again. But the good news is that each little loop gets a little looser, because you're a little less willing to play the game. And so it still keeps coming around again, but, but you get Looser and lighter and lighter and lighter. And that's the spiritual use of the symbols, to loosen the mind from the self-concept. It can't just yank the self-concept away, because the mind's too addicted to it, but it just keeps lightening it, lightening it, getting looser, more flexible, more flexible, more flexible, more flexible, with each turn. And then it's like that that Quaker song, and, and when we find ourselves in the place just right, it will be in the valley of love and delight. Mm -hmm. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, we shan't be ashamed. Mm -hmm. and by turning and turning, turning right, we, we will turn and turn and come round right. And it's a beautiful Quaker song, and that's that Almost like they're describing that song, the loops that you have to go through, you know. Almost like, like I talk about unwinding a screw from a, from a piece of oak, you know, you have to turn and turn. There's no way you can yank the screw out of the oak. There's no way. A hammer, nothing. You pull it out except the turn, and then the turn, and then the turn. That's the only way you take a screw out of oak. That's almost you say that's how treacherous the ego is. It's it's like wound. The mind is mind seems to be wound into it and it has to be unwound. We talk about unwind the mind. And to not be discouraged by the turning. Even if it's slow, difficult turns, then it's like, you, you want to be able to cheer like that Indian boy. He was always cheering and cheering and cheering with every little turn. You know, he kept, he really kept at it. He was quite determined, you know, to, to be free too. To be grateful for every turn. Every twist. Yeah, but before I came out here, I was doing a counseling call with South Africa. Zelka, who's joined in on a lot of our virtual things, but she, at one point she just said, it's like Jesus is in my heart and he wants to come out. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting way of thinking of it. I need to, I need to find a way to let him out. I'm afraid, she said, but I need to find a way to let him out. There's a part in the workbook where Jesus describes that there's a child in you, the Christ child is in you. Almost, it's stillborn, very still, but he needs your protection. You must let him be himself for a while. Don't try to make him into something else. That's how the Christ child is born, in stillness. You have to let him be himself. 
you have to meet the conditions to let him be born in the heart. Stillness. Christmas time, the time of celebrating Christ's birth, not into a manger, but into the holy instant where the Christ lives. And the only way the child can be born is, is in the condition of stillness. Which means you can't have conflicting wishes. And if you watch the mind, when it gets into its tizzies, it's always because there are competing interests going on in the mind. There's a conflict going on. And that conflict is not the condition in which Christ can be born. Christ can't come out unless the conditions are just right. Christ won't come out until the conditions are just right for the birth. Be the right conditions for the birth. So it's kind of nice in Christmas to think of yourself as birthing mm -hmm. the Christ child. Would you be nurturing for the Christ child? by relinquishing conflict, by relinquishing multiple wishes, multiple desires, internal conflicts. Really that's all that the Christ child needs to be born, and really that's all that the Christ child is asking for, is, is lay down the fight. Just lay down the fight. Stillness has to be there for the birth. It's amazing that, and we have the power of prayer to do that, you know, to, to pray for that, to want that, to want that condition to be so. Zilka always calls me up a video call and she's always got somebody else on the call, so I get to meet a new person. This time it was Emil. E-M-I-L, and he was, he was just there on the call. She was like, David, is Jesus here? Is Jesus with us now? Is Jesus alive? <laughs> That's how she starts out the call. The call pops on, I see Emil over there. He's like watching too, wondering what's she going to do now? <laughs> And that's how she starts the call out. <laughs> Is Jesus here? Is Jesus with us? Is Jesus alive? And so, yeah, that, this movie tonight is, is really the opportunity to ask yourself, are you going to let the Christ child be born? Is Jesus here? Is Jesus now? Is Jesus alive? What's the answer, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like the mind has to make the answer mm -hmm. by, by what it wants, you know? So right away I said, well, yeah, it's not a historical Jesus, but Jesus is here. And that's what we, that launched us. He said, it's hard for me to say it, but Jesus is like, he's in my heart and he wants to come out. Will you help me get him out? <laughs> <laughs> Which was the way of her way of saying, will you help birth, birth the Christ, please? It's, it's really hard. Jesus wants out, and I need help to get him out. Because Jesus could only be trapped, blocked by a mind that desires conflict more than peace. So if you would free the Christ in you, free Jesus, you have to forgive the conflict. You can't experience the Christ and have the conflict. The, the two don't go together. So it's coming down to a decision point. You know, more and more it's like a decision point in the mind. Mm 